So take a look at the difference in lean body mass between the placebo group and the ectosterone group, right? Insane fucking difference. And this is the study by Eisenman that came out in 2019. And this is the change in bench press performance, one rep max strength, insane. And this was just 12 milligrams of ectosterone compared to the placebo group. This is close to steroid-like gains, right? Not equal, but very fucking close. I keep recommending eating a shit ton of quinoa and a shit ton of spinach. It actually came out to only 12 milligrams for group one, and then the high dose group was about 48 milligrams. So most of the gains in lean body mass was mainly muscle. And this is only after 10 weeks of training. As you can see here, those are the gains in bench press. Fucking 20 pounds added to that bench press. And these guys were trained lift. I think they had like at least a year of training experience. In fact, the study was supported by WADA, right? World Anti-Doping Agency, because they actually wanted to know, hey, is this thing legit? Because keep in mind, guys, like this one has been out, like I said, since the what? I think the Russians were using it back in the 80s or some shit. They used to call it the Russian secret. But most of the experiments were done on animals and the ones on humans were not very conclusive. So this was the most diligent, well-done study on humans prior to that you have the one that was done on rats right as you can see here you have the control group uh the edd group that's really trambolox not trambolone trambolox it's pretty much in the same family right the nandrolone family uh the md group that was dynaball again you had psalms that's the s1 group and look at this the one right look at the difference right this is the fold increase by the way in size crazy look at that once again dht igf1 and then you have like this wrong right Again, same dose, and look how much ectosterone was able to. And keep in mind, this is just ectosterone, right? The more the more powerful version of ectosterone is turkesterone. So they were only using ectosterone. If they were using turkesterone, it would have been probably 20 to 50 percent more. And the best part is, it has no side effects. You know, it's been studied extensively. Uh, mainly, researchers were trying to find side effects. You know, they couldn't find any because keep in mind that they're, they're trying to use this thing to actually uh, help patients and stuff. You know, they're not just trying to. They were not researching this for bodybuilders on the train program. You know, so they're actually thinking about, they're considering banning it. The reason why they can't is simply because, I mean, think about it. Like, this one is natural. It's fine in foods. Fuck that. The Russians were not joking. <laughs> this thing is powerful as fuck. But I guarantee you guys, it's probably not going to get banned, right? Because, I mean, think about it. Creatine is not on the fucking um, monitoring program for 2021. And we know how effective creatine is, right? Right? You got to convert, right? Five milligrams per kilogram for rats. That comes out to like 0 0.8 milligram per kilogram for humans. You only need like 12 to 15 milligrams, maybe 20, right? Maybe 20 milligrams of ecdysterone a day to see gains. Now, what is the best way to get ecdysterone? Told you guys, it's found in spinach, it's found in quinoa, it's found in ajuga, and it's also found in sumeru, right? It's found in a lot of different weird ass plants and shit. But like I said, keep it simple, man. Eat a ton of spinach, eat a ton of quinoa, and you should be set, right? Ajuga has a ton of turkesterone, but then again, it's a rare ass plant, very fucking hard to get. And I'm pretty sure you guys are not gonna be munching on sumo roots and shit, right? So one ounce of quinoa has like eight to ten milligrams of ectosterone, right? Shit. But anyway, two ounces of dry quinoa is gonna give you more than enough ectosterone to see gains, right? But about one ounce of dry spinach gives you about anywhere from one to ten milligrams of uh of ectosterone. So we'll use five milligrams as like the middle point. Again, Ajuga has a lot fucking more. And like I said before, it has turkisterone, which is a lot more powerful than ecdysterone, but very hard to get your hands on this shit. So it's best to just keep it simple, right? Spanish or quinoa is found everywhere, right? So now you see why I put so much quinoa and spinach in all my meal plans. And lastly, remember, if water somehow decides to ban it, as long as you're getting it from quinoa and spinach, you're good, right? You could claim natty forever.